Good morning. It's Saturday, February 11th, 2023. I'm Rock Daniels, and welcome to a new edition of Lexington Water Cooler News. So in weather today, the high is going to be 47, the low is going to be 34, sun's going to rise at 732 this morning and set at 612 p.m. The Dow Jones climbed 169 points yesterday, while the NASDAQ dropped 71 points. Well, Kentucky and Georgia are set to face off in a college basketball game today at noon. Kentucky is considered to be the stronger team, but currently sits on the bubble for the the tournament. You know, Georgia, on the other hand, has lost six of its last seven games and is in desperate need of a win. The health of both teams is in concern with uh, UK point guard Severe Wheeler and Georgia starting point guard Terry Roberts both considered day-to-day. The matchup is expected to be dominated by reigning national player of the year Oscar Tshibwe uh, for Kentucky. But if Roberts plays for Georgia, they will have a chance to pull off an upset. But if he's out, the edge will go to Kentucky. All right, the Kentucky House of Representatives has impeached Commonwealth Attorney Ronnie Lee Goldie Jr. on accusations of doing favors in exchange for nude photos. Goldie has resigned, but his resignation will not go into effect until the end of February. The Kentucky Senate is responsible for trying the impeachment and must have the concurrence of two-thirds of senators present to convict and remove the official. Senate President Robert Stivers excuse me, says the senators will not look at the articles until they come to a formal process, and that will be fair and a neutral, detached as jurors are in type of this proceeding. All right, Fayette County School Police in Kentucky used pepper spray in order to control unruly students five times in this last school year due to physical altercations that put students at risk of serious injury. So pepper spray was used after all efforts to de-escalate the situation were unsuccessful. The use of pepper spray is legal under Kentucky law, but is considered an aversive behavioral intervention when used by school personnel outside of law enforcement activities. So pepper spray is used only by sworn officers in the school district and is evaluated after each use to determine whether it was appropriate. The year-by-year use of pepper spray in the school district is on the rise. Well, medical marijuana is once again being considered for legalization in the Kentucky legislature. Governor Andy Beshear signed an executive order allowing health care providers to issue written certifications for patients suffering from conditions such as cancer, epilepsy, and chronic pain. Despite the order, it is still illegal to sell medical marijuana in Kentucky, so patients must purchase it in a state where it is legal. The executive order went into effect on January 1st, 2023, and while the demand has not been high, it is expected to increase if the legislature passes Senate Bill 47, which legalizes medical marijuana. Kentucky is banning TikTok on government devices due to concerns about national security and data mining by the Chinese government. The bill was passed unanimously in Senate with no debate. Other Kentucky branches have also taken steps to ban the app from their departments. The FBI officially warned about the security risks posed by TikTok in December, leading to a ban in more than half of the state governments across the country. All right, Kentucky-based farming pioneer App Harvest is seeking to raise $40 million by selling shares to investors as the company misses sales projections and struggles to finance its greenhouse constructions. App Harvest, which operates large greenhouses growing tomatoes, greens, and strawberries using water saving and robotic technology, was valued at $3.7 billion after its 2021 debut. But now has a market value of less than $100 million. The company faces substantial doubt about its future with a negative cash flow of $270 million in the last 12 months. So analysts have criticized this company for its unkempt promises. At the 2023 Kentucky Chamber Day dinner, leaders spoke on their visions of the state, including Ashley Watts, the chamber president who focused on making Kentucky the best place to live, work, and do business through a competitive tax code and a skilled workforce. Governor Andy Beshear highlighted the state's recent economic success and named companies that have announced major investments. Black legislative leaders, uh, Gerald Neal and Derek Graham, spoke about their priorities for the 2023 session, which include medical marijuana legislation and improving uh, maternal health. 
Republican leaders discuss their focus on building a workforce that supports Kentucky's future and lowering the individual income taxes. The future looks bright for Kentucky as the leaders work with the Kentucky Chamber to implement these policies. Well, that does it today for Lexington Water Cooler News. Join me again tomorrow for the latest news, weather, and sports right here in Central Kentucky, free of charge, sponsored by me, Rock Daniels and Rock Daniels Construction Company. So you guys go out, have the best Saturday ever.